Hello, to us. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will be always with you. What's my thing again? Okay, so I know I have not been on for a bit. I was actually on a break. Um, actually back all day to be. So to keep you guys updated, I will be sharing my usual post updates. Okay, so I'm going to share this. Revelation chapter 20, verse 12 says, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book, according to their work. So I actually put some scriptures here, you can read it. Usually when I read all these things, it takes up a lot of time in the video. So you can read it. All right, I put a scripture and so forth. I think is um, what I'm saying on top of here. Um, Right. So I posted this on my WhatsApp. It says in life no single person can float. Sorry. No single person can please everyone. No, I'm not gonna edit anything. A lot of religious leaders were not pleased with the things Jesus was saying. I said go on through Jesus Christ, Savior and Mediator. I'm not here to please man, but the things I do is to please God, right? I was about to put them up as to what Galatian says about pleasing man and or pleasing God, right? Because if you please man, you're not a pleaser of God. If you please God, you're not really a pleaser of man. So you have to choose. Choose who you want to please. Okay. This other scripture was Revelation 20, verse 15. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they would judge every man according to their works. And I also put some information here. You all could pause the video and read it if you wish, right? And our photo I created here, you don't have to boast about yourself, just be yourself. Just be. Whatever you are doing, whatever God called it to do, whatever skills you have, whatever talents you have, just do it. Don't go around tell when you could this and use the best this because what I realized according to the scripture on top of Matthew 23, verse 12, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be a beast will be humbled and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted um from my observation and previous things that happened to me in class i came across persons who have boasted themselves i remember in particular um who was this i can't remember who it was exactly but they were a few persons the people who boast themselves and then when it come for them to actually perform or to do whatever they are so boasting about and you have this high expectation expectancy about the person you expected you know and then when you see like you know the person not really up to where you was expecting them that's basically like you know and that and some people may actually humiliate them just because of that because when you boast about me from something i expect you to be on top of your game right so that's why it's not good to talk about it or too much at least or boast about it right this here is Revelation chapter 20, verse 14 and 15. And that in hell was cast into the lake of fire. And this is the second death. And whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. I put some scriptures here. 
basically to make sure that you save and so forth if you want to read it it's right here you can pause the video this is something i shared yesterday on your way to church you pass the sick the poor the orphans the hungry the tasty the homeless the naked and the lost but did you help them you are the salt and light of the world. The devil doesn't care if you go to church or read your Bible as long as you don't apply it to your life. And that is so true. You're not going to get nowhere in Christ if you don't apply the word of God. You don't put it into practice. Right? I also put some scriptures here about when God was selling people on judgment. He, he was on his left to depart from me because when he was hungry, and to see and so forth in prison and then visit him and then feed him this kind of thing right well that's so when i share i love it i love it i love real preachers i don't hear the ones that are not for real or only sweet mouth preachers or um those kind of things but i love to hear real preachers right and lastly no not lastly almost there Okay, Satan's target is your mind and his weapons are lies. So fill your mind with the word of God. Isaiah 26, 3, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee. Why will that F come up from anyways? Um, Romans 12, 2, and be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind that it be true. What is that good and acceptable will of God? And lastly, I love this. Have you no wish others to be saved from eternal fire? Then you are not saved yourself. Be sure of that. So that's basically when we become born again and even whatever may be going on in your life, we still so come to a point that we start to, to tell people the good news, which is the gospel, right? Preach the gospel. You don't have to be a preacher. You just tell people about God, tell them about his goodness, tell them that a way to God and this kind of thing. Right? So, you know, I put this scripture here, right? Revelation, speak about the fearful, unbelieving, abominable, etc., etc. Shall have their part in the lake, which is going to be fire and brimstone. So even... Believers in Christ, as a fearful as in born again, believers in Christ who are afraid to tell people about the gospel because they're afraid to lose friends, they're afraid people say things about them or find the different. That is not good. And basically, it as this man of God, well, he's deceased, said there, you want to save yourself. And the Bible said, the fearful people who are afraid, that is what it was speaking about who are fearful to tell people about God will end up in hell. You don't want to be like that. So I hope that um, we'll have a good one. I will see you all soon. God bless.